In this video, you're going to learn about a medication prescribed to treat an underactive thyroid gland, which is called levothyroxin. In this video, we're going to cover several important things, including what levothyroxine is and how it works, who can and cannot take levothyroxine, how and when to take it, what to do if you accidentally miss a dose, potential side effects, this is really important, advice if you're pregnant or breastfeeding, as well as possible interactions with other medications. Levothyroxine is also known by its brand names Synthroid, Levoxyl, and as ever, each section is timestamped, so please feel free to skip ahead if there's a particular section that you're interested in. So let's start off this video by understanding what levothyroxine is. Well, it's a medicine that's used to treat an underactive thyroid gland. This is known as hypothyroidism. The thyroid gland makes hormones which helps the body to control energy levels as well as growth. Levothyroxine is taken to replace the missing thyroid hormone, which is known as thyroxine. So who can and cannot take levothyroxine? Well, it can be taken by most adults and children. However, it's not suitable for some individuals and you should let your doctor know if you've ever had an allergic reaction to levothyroxine or other similar medicine, if you've had an overactive thyroid that produces too much thyroid hormone, if you've got a health problem that affects your adrenal glands such as Addison's disease, if you've got a heart problem such as angina, heart disease or heart failure, if you've got high blood pressure, if you've ever had a heart attack or if you've got diabetes, and this is because levothyroxine could result in your blood sugars becoming deranged. So now that we've got a better idea of who can and can't take this medicine, let's discuss the practicalities of how and when to take it. Well, the dose of levothyroxine varies from person to person, and your doctor will advise you on the exact dose that you're going to need to take. Levothyroxine comes in various strengths of tablets and liquids, ranging from 12.5 micrograms to 100 micrograms. Although the starting dose is usually the same, the dose of levothyroxine you end up taking or how quickly the dose is increased will depend on your symptoms, hormone levels, age, and whether or not you've got any other health problems. Adults usually start with a dose between 50 micrograms and 100 micrograms taken once a day. This may be increased gradually over a few weeks to between 100 micrograms and 200 micrograms taken once a day, but some people, such as individuals aged 50 or over with heart disease, may start on a lower dose. In terms of how to take it, well normally you'll take the medicine once a day in the morning, ideally 30 minutes before having breakfast or a caffeinated drink, and it's advised that you should swallow the tablets whole with a drink of water, so don't chew them. So what should you do if you forget to take it? Well, if you do forget to take a dose, take it as soon as you remember, unless it's almost time for your next dose. In this case, just skip the forgotten dose and take the next one at the usual time. Don't take two doses together to make up for a missed dose. And if you accidentally take more than your prescribed dose of levothyroxine, you might experience a sensation of a racing heart. This is also known as palpitations, and you should speak to your doctor if this is bothering you. Your doctor will usually do regular blood tests to check the levels of thyroid hormones in your body before and after starting levothyroxine in order to check that the dose of medicine is right for you. So let's move on now and discuss side effects because like all medicines, levothyroxine can cause side effects, although not everybody gets them. Once you're on the right dose of levothyroxine, side effects should go away. Some people can also get side effects when they switch the brand of medication. So if this does happen, please let your doctor know. Now many of the common side effects are the same as the symptoms of an overactive thyroid. And these include things such as feeling sick or nauseous, being sick, having diarrhea, headaches, feeling restless or excitable, or having problems sleeping, as well as flushing or sweating, having muscle cramps, and shaking, which is usually of the hands. Serious side effects, on the other hand, happen rarely, but you should tell your doctor if you get fast or irregular heartbeats, known as palpitations, or you might have chest pain. If you do develop chest pain, then you need to seek immediate medical evaluation. Very rarely, some people can develop anaphylaxis, which is a sudden and potentially life-threatening allergic reaction where the lips, tongue, and face can swell. If this happens, urgent medical attention needs to be sought. Now, these are not all the side effects of levothyroxine, and for a full list, you should see the information leaflet inside your medicine packet. 
In terms of pregnancy and breastfeeding, well, levothyroxine is generally considered safe to take in pregnancy, but you'll have to do regular blood tests during pregnancy to make sure you're on the right dose. Similarly, it's considered okay to breastfeed, and thyroid hormones are a normal part of the breast milk. If they do pass into the breast milk, then only tiny amounts are likely to pass in, and they're usually too small to affect your baby, but you should speak to your doctor if you do have concerns. Finally, some medicines can affect thyroid hormones, so the dose of levothyroxine may need to be changed. These include things like epilepsy medications, things like phenytoin, rifampicin, amiodarone, and estrogens, such as those in combined oral contraceptive pills or hormone replacement therapy. Levothyroxine can affect how other medicines work, so their doses may need to be changed. And these medicines include things like insulin or tablets to use for diabetes, as well as warfarin used to prevent blood clots. Some medicine should not be taken at the same time of day as levothyroxine, as they can reduce the amount of levothyroxine your body takes in. And these include things such as antacids, calcium salts, iron salts, orlistat, this is a common medicine used for weight loss, or some cholesterol-lowering medicines such as cholestyramine. Now to find out more information on this, you should speak to your pharmacist or your doctor who will help advise you around the possible interactions between levothyroxine and other medicines. So this brings us to the end of the video and I do hope you enjoyed it and that you learned something new. If you did, please consider liking the video, leaving me a comment in the comment section if you want to share your experiences around using levothyroxine in order to help other people, and please do consider subscribing to the channel for new weekly medical education videos. References, extra resources, and the disclaimer are in the description box of the video, and as ever, thank you for watching, and until next time, bye.